And if you want to fuck with me or still talk to me, just know that you are in a race now. It is now a competition. You are not first. You are second, third, maybe fourth. So if you want to be the first one, what you going to do to make yourself first? It is now a competition. What to do if your boyfriend ghosts you for somebody else and block you everywhere? And block you everywhere, everywhere after you gave him the world and done everything for him. So you gave your boyfriend the world. You did everything for him. And he just ghosted you and ended up blocking you off of everything. He misused you. He misused you. He knew that you loved him, cared about him so much that you was willing to put him first before you put yourself, which you did. You gave him a lot of shit because you saying you helping him. You helped him with everything, gave him the world. First of all, you shouldn't even be giving no nigga the world. Nigga's supposed to be giving you the world, but that's that's neither here or there. Been there, done that. Um, where you start looking out for a motherfucker before you look out for yourself. He misused you. And it ain't shit that you can do about it. But just know that I've never seen a nigga that did a female wrong. That ain't never tried to come back to her and fuck with her again. Now he just did you wrong. And he just fucked you over, right? But I'm here to tell you that he's going to come back. And he is going to want to fuck with you again. You better not make your motherfucking stuff available by far. If that nigga unblock you and he adds you, accept the request. Deny him on Messenger. Block him on Messenger, but keep him as a friend on Facebook and make sure you better shit every fucking chance you get. You better start getting cute. You better start wearing shit you ain't never wore. You better start shit. Larez, what the hell are you doing? You better start shit. He's gonna come back. Trust me. I have never seen a dude do a person wrong and just never has no remorse, never wants to fuck with them again, never wants to talk to them again, never wants to deal with them ever in life again. No, he's going to come back when he wants to try to use you again. And that's the, the time you better be on your shit at the highest. He's going to come back. Trust me. They all do. I ain't never seen a dude just leave, never come back. Especially if they did a person wrong. Can we still give him a chance though? No. You don't get nobody a chance that used you. This is not, let me tell you something. Don't be weak. Nah. Don't ever be weak for no nigga. If he fucked you over and did you wrong, if he fucked you over or did you wrong, what the fuck are you giving him another chance to do? The same shit again? If you give a person a chance to hurt you one time, okay, it's your, it, it, it's, 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 it's their fault. It's on them. But if you give a motherfucker a chance to hurt you twice, that's on you. So it's either one of the two things. You either going to start back talking to him to play the fuck out of him and to get your get back and use his ass for everything that you can motherfucking use him for since he thought he was using you and he was fucking you over in the past. Now it's your turn. You either gonna start back fucking with him and get him out of everything that you feel like you deserve because he did all the wrong shit and took advantage of you or you just not gonna fuck with him at all and you gonna let him sit and keep trying to prowl his way back in and you just laughing at him and let him watch you. It's one of the two, but ain't no you being in this for the right shit and trying to fall in love. It's past love. When a motherfucker fuck you over, it ain't about love and being with them and b being a correct person to them no more. That shit out the window. Now that's what you got for me. Since you wanted to be such a player and wanted to be so high and so mighty and play with my motherfucking feelings and do all of this. Okay, now it's my turn. Now I'm finna make you think that I, I really love you and I fuck with you and we could be something and this could possibly. Now I'm finna make you think that I, I'm still in love and that I'm a goofy. And now I'm finna, oh, but this needs to, I need some money for this. Now I want this. Oh, I was so hurt. How could you do me like that? No, I don't give a fuck no more. I'm in this for me. Since you wanted to play with me and use me, nigga, now I'm finna use you. What you got for me? 
I'm finna come up with all the saddest stories on why I need this, so want this, and want that. And by the time I feel like I done ran you the fuck dry like you ran me dry the last time around, then I'ma up and stop responding to you when you ain't got shit. How I feel? How I feel? Thank you for everything. Period. Period. You don't let nobody run you dry run, and, and, and get them everything and let them fuck you up. And then for them to come back and still be able to fuck you over again. Are you crazy? No. It's either get back or he got to watch you. Be great. One of the two. He cheated and wants me back. All I'm going to say, when it comes to cheating, don't be a fool twice. You can be a fool one time, but you can't be a fool twice. So, if you know he cheated the first time, don't be surprised if it happened uh, again around the second round. And on top of that, don't ever be uh, faithful consistently to somebody who cheated on you the first time. I'm not saying go sleep with people because he's sleeping with people. That's not what I'm telling you to do. But if you know he cheated on you the first time, the second time the child start back fucking around, you better not ever drop your hoes for him again. I don't give a fuck what you tell him. If you tell him, yeah, we back together, I'm gonna give you another chance, all that's cool. But keep your niggas. Anybody that you was talking to before, anything that you was doing beforehand, keep them. Larez, sit down in my bed. Don't ever drop your people for him. Because if you drop everything to accommodate that motherfucker again, the moment he break your trust again, you're going to be so hurt and you ain't going to have nobody. You're going to be looking like, damn, I just dropped all these people for him and I just did this shit all over again. I feel so stupid. You're going to feel so much less stupid if you held him for what it was. Like if you didn't, if you knew he cheated the first time and you expected him to cheat the second time. So even if he do cheat or if he don't, it don't matter. Keep your hoes until you know that he's changed for real. And he really not on that. Because some dudes do change and they really don't be on that the second time around. Some don't. But you don't know that. So don't ever drop. You better still be getting numbers. You better still be talking to niggas. And you better still be taking motherfucking dates. Now, I ain't saying that you got to be sleeping with nobody. Because, no, nah, don't be sleeping with two niggas at one time. You know what I'm saying? But even if you is sleeping with him, bitch, you still better be running, running, running these other niggas. What's up? You want to go on a date? Come on. Where are you, where you taking me today? And when he calling your phone, bitch, don't answer. Don't answer every time he motherfucker call you. Now he on your terms. You're not on his terms no more. He's on your terms. I'll call you when I get ready. I'll call you back when I get ready. Oh, my bad. I was asleep. Even though he might have seen your motherfucking story. You saw you was outside eating. I was asleep bitch oh shit it's 949 y'all i gotta post a video on my page so make sure